All right, you guys, today we're going to talk about the healing brush and the clone brush and how you can use them to make your photos even that much more awesome in Lightroom. Let's get to it. So probably a good idea before we even start, come into our Play Store or wherever you download your um, Lightroom from. I'm using a Chromebook, so for me that would be the Play Store. Whether you're on an iPad in the App Store or on a PC in Creative Cloud, wherever you are, it's probably a good idea just to check to make sure if there's not an update available to Lightroom. So for me, I'm going to click on this little menu button here in the top left-hand corner, go to My Apps, and just make sure that under Updates, Lightroom's not there. It's not, so we're good to go, so I'm going to close this. And here we are in Lightroom. I've got this photo here that's got these one, two, three, four, these little spots in the sky. And what that is, that's dust that's inside my camera. Um, and I want to remove those so that they're not distracting in my photo. Fortunately, in Lightroom, this is super easy. Let's take a look. What we're looking for here in Lightroom is a tool that looks like a Band-Aid. And here it is right here on the right-hand side. Again, whatever device you're on, that tool is there. So find it and click on it. And that's going to bring up this and what this is going to do, let me just give you a quick demo of what happens here when we use this. If I come out here and I just click on that spot right there, you can see Lightroom created a circle around that spot showing me here is what we are removing. And then it created another circle and it's saying here is what we are copying from to remove that spot. So this circle is what got removed and this circle with the arrow pointing to the other circle is what it covered up that spot with. And the cool thing is that I can move this circle around by just clicking on it. Sorry, I clicked and held. I can just click and drag and move that around because I don't like how it duplicated that cloud right there. I can make that smaller now by changing the size. Uh, I can make the edge softer by changing the feather. And I can even make it slightly see-through, which I don't know why you would want to do that. But if you did, you could. Uh, I don't want to do that, though. I don't want to do that. I just want to get rid of my spot. So that's it in a nutshell, you guys. Let's talk about what all of these things actually do now. So you've got two options. You've got the mode uh, button. You've got either heal or clone. Heal is going to not only cover up your object that you want to remove, but it's going to try to blend in everything around it. I use heal 99% of the time. Clone is just going to make an exact copy, meaning whatever this circle is over, it's going to be an exact copy here. Like I just said, 99% of the time, I want them to blend together, so I'm going to leave that on heel. All right, so now that we've seen how it works, let's talk about what these options actually are. Size is how big the brush is. Now, one thing that's kind of obnoxious, as you can see, that's a pretty small red circle. But when I come out here and actually click on this, it's actually a bigger circle than Lightroom showed me, which is a little bit obnoxious, but it is what it is, and you got to just deal with it. So I'm going to crank the size back up here so we can see what Feather does. Feather makes the edge of our brush either a little bit softer or a little bit harder. So I have found when I'm healing that actually a little bit harder brush works better. So I like to leave that somewhere around 25 to 30. It seems to work really, really well. And opacity makes the brush slightly see-through, which I don't know why you would want to use that. I've never used it, so I'm just going to leave that at 100. So let's go in and just remove some more of these spots from this photo here. I'll make my brush a little bit smaller. I'm going to make it even smaller than I think I need because I know that red circle is not actually accurate, which is not cool. And then here's another blemish I want to get rid of. So I'm just going to click on that. And what's happening here is this circle right here is the circle. This is what's being covered up. This is what's being removed. This circle over here is what Lightroom is trying to blend in to make that work. You can see I can click on this and move it around. And I could put it wherever I want. I could put it right down here on these, this white flower. But you can see Lightroom's trying to blend it together, trying to make it work, but it's just really confusing. It doesn't make sense. So most of the time, Lightroom will pick a good spot for this circle, but not always. Sometimes you have to move this thing around. So I just got a few more blemishes I'm going to get rid of. I'll come and click on that one right there. And you can see that's a terrible spot. I have no idea why Lightroom thought that was a good idea. So I'm just going to click on this one and drag it up here and put it right about there and give it a second to think, and that looks much better. Let's get rid of this one right here by just clicking on it. That's pretty solid. And then there's another one right over here that I'm just going to click on. And that was a much better choice. Good job, Lightroom. And there you go. Just like that, I've removed one, two, three, four, five spots from my photo. One more little one right there. So I'm going to make my brush even a little bit smaller. And I'll go ahead and just click on it. And there you go. Lightroom has got rid of it for me. So there you go. I'm just going to go ahead and click on done on this image. And I've just removed some really annoying blemishes from my photo. Let's look at one more. 
I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna choose this one right here. And on this one, I just wanna remove whatever this, this little signpost or whatever that is right there, that's gotta go, that's too distracting. So again, I'm gonna grab my healing brush right over here. I'm going to come and let it load first. I'm gonna come in here and bring up the size probably a little bit. This is actually substantially easier on a PC or Mac than it is uh, on, the, uh, on the Android or iPad version because you can change the size a little bit easier. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and just click right on top of that sign. And you can see, I'm not crazy about the spot that Lightroom chose. So I'm just gonna click and move this down somewhere close to it. I'm gonna let it blend that together for me. No, go away. And I'm gonna move that and you can see just like that, I've removed that pretty easily from the, that's obnoxious, stop doing that from the photo. And that little thing pops up. If you just click and hold, this thing pops up and you could switch between heal, clone and delete. Uh, but I was trying to click and drag when I was getting that. So I might try some different spots here, maybe something a little bit more open like that. There you go. I actually like that because then it just looks like a little bush or something in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and just click on done. There you go, guys. That's how easy it is to remove things from your photos in Lightroom. You need to start doing this now on the photos you turn in because this is going to make our photos even better.